current affair this week. With the Sunday footy show, it was arguably Hobart's biggest ever game yesterday. North Melbourne and Richmond was plenty of tension going in at two and three. The Kangaroos were fantastic, though, look. They were, Hutch, and they turned out in big numbers down at Hobart. It was their biggest crowd, I think. And it was an arm wrestle in the first half, goal for goal, in that 15-minute period in the third quarter that we spoke about earlier where the, the Tigers were terrible and they turned the ball over and conceded six goals out of seven from turnovers. And in the end, that was the difference, and we see there for the Kangaroos, a pretty even performance, Jacobs in the possessions, and Lindsay Thomas was probably the difference with five goals. The Tigers guys had plenty of the ball, but really their efficiency, they had more inside 50s, but really their efficiency let them down, and we're joined by Kangaroos, hard nut, Jack Zeeble, and mate, it must have been great, um, again, to get back on the winner's list, and in a ground that you, you're trying to make uh, like a fortress down there. Yeah, I think uh, we've won the last five from seven games we've played down there in Hobart. So it's um, becoming a little bit of a fortress. And it's great to see when we get down to Hobart, the, the blue and white supporters are, are all in the grandstands. And I think we had over 16,000 people there yesterday, which was a great result for our footy club and for the town of Hobart as well. It was a bit of an arm wrestle. Did you, did you notice, the, I guess, the ascendancy turning your way and the, and the Richmond turnovers in that, in that, in that third quarter? And uh, we see here as we go to the highlights, you were really able to, to capitalise on, on that. And, a bit of class in the end with Lindsay Thomas. Yeah, a few boys played pretty well in the second half and um, the first half was a, a fairly tight tussle. Um, it was a little bit frustrating at times with a, with a few free kicks we gave away and um, some cheap goals. But um, in the third quarter we got things on our terms and we won the ball in a contest and got it forward to our, our forwards and, and Lindsay had a big influence on the game, which was fantastic for him. Tell, tell us about the midfield battle, because if you look at the stat sheet, you'd say that geez, the Richmond boys probably came out on top, but it didn't really appear that way. They A lot of their um, disposals were around the back half and ineffective and um, you guys really tried to operate as a team it looked like and, and probably shaded them in the end. Yeah, I think it was, a, it was a pretty tough battle in there in the midfield. Um, I think by the numbers they might have beaten us in the clearances and contested possession but um, you know, we thought we performed pretty well on the day uh, around the contest and making sure that we got the ball um, efficiently into our forwards and I think our inside 50s weren't as high as theirs but our efficiency rate going inside 50 was pretty good so um, that was pretty key for us going forward. I do a uh, rolling all Australian team. I got hammered for weeks on end not having Todd Goldstein in the team and he's got best again through the Herald Sun votes. Has he improved again this year on what he's produced over the last few years? Yeah, obviously Big Goldie's been consistent over the last probably three or four years in the, his ability to ruck every game pretty much for the last three years. So um, he, he's definitely gone up another level this year. His first six rounds have been outstanding and um, the way he competes physically um, in the air and then his ability to get down and follow up and uh, become an extra midfielder on the ground for a bloke who's six foot eight is, is second to none. Hey, Sean Higgins has been a super pick up. He's averaging three goals a game. Lindsay Com Thomas kicks five goals yesterday. It's just a, a, a multifaceted forward line down there so you don't rely on big Drew Petrie or someone to take a big mark. Yeah, it's great to have Higo across um, from the Bulldogs. He's been really good um, for us this year and I think with him kicking goals each week and Lindsay Thomas kicking five on the weekend, um, you know, Jared Waits kicked a bag this year. Drew, we know what he can do up the forward line. As you said, it's, it's a different few points we can go to up forward to, to get the job done. Ball, I want to ask you one question. If Stephen Morris wasn't playing forward yesterday and we see Damien Hardwick criticising the forward line, would Lindsay Thomas have kicked five goals? It's a good question, uh, uh, Nathan. And look, they probably could have looked at that when, when Thomas, because we know when he gets on a roll, he's pretty hard to stop, and um, they tried a few guys on him. But you're right, in previous years, Stephen Morris has been their best shutdown defender, and we know that they're trying to use him in a different role this year. But perhaps, you know, towards the end of that third quarter, they could have looked at, at making the change and, and stemming uh, Lindsay Thomas's influence. I know you're big on that. Yeah, he is. How are you, Jackie boy, personally? Because you've got no spleen and half a kidney and you're still playing on. So how's all that going? We see the vision of this. Yeah, no, I'm feeling good. Um, a couple of little things that I've had to go through this year, but um, nothing too serious, so I'm um, ready to go, which is good. And everyone tells you to play a change your game, and you've spoken to Glenn Archer, so what are you going to... Are you going to do something about the way you play? Um, I think footballers these days play a lot on instinct. Yep. Um, and if you take that away from any player in the competition, they're not going to be the, the player that they are. Yep. Um, and I've spoke to our coach about this, and it's really important that I play on instinct. And mm. um, I like to think that I'm a contested ball player in okay, and out the contest, so um, that's what I'm going to continue to try and do. Oh, oh, it doesn't, doesn't, doesn't help when your own teammates yeah. aren't looking after <laughs> you. You, you don't run into full forward <laughs> space. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, what no, are you no, doing? I'm going to call the bloke back. Come on, Drewy. Yeah. Midfield is it right away, don't they, Call him back. Yeah, I can call him back in there. No, you don't. The forwards run that. Drewy needed a kick. What's a dirty little midfielder hanging around for? Out. Get out. And did you notice the fire 
yesterday at Bonstone Arena. What's well, actually, uh, my parents were sitting up in that corner. Uh, my mum and she had about 10 friends with her, so they said they got evacuated from the top she corner. Wasn't on the dance, <laughs> uh, hopefully not. I think she'd given up, which is nice. But um, no, I think there might have been a barbecue fire or something up there, which caused a bit of smoke. I saw that on the ground, but I wasn't too sure what was so going on. So they were evacuated? Uh, just from that area. So those seats up there, I think, um, they got just moved away. You didn't know during the game, did you, until afterwards? No, I, I, she yeah. told me that afterwards, but I just saw on the ground, I think it was at three-quarter time or half-time, you saw a bit of smoke. smoke. Can I just ask one question? We, we talk about water. goal kicking all the time, and we always talk about cloak everywhere. Can you please, how did Lindsay Thomas change? Mm. He kicked five straight again yesterday. Did he have a psychologist? Was it a coach? It was fascinating for the rest of the players in the competition how he possibly did it. Yeah, so I think probably three years ago, he struggled with his goal kicking, mm. but... All I can tell you about Lindsay is he just worked incredibly hard on his goal kicking. On his own? Or? Uh, with his teammates mm -hmm. and with coaches, mm -hmm. but majority it was with, his, with himself, sorry. Mm -hmm. um, and he just spent hours and hours on the track just mm -hmm. kicking at goals. And yeah. now he's one of our most yeah. reliable sets. He, he looks relaxed, Lord, yeah. when he runs in there. He looks like he's cleared his mind. He just mm -hmm. runs in and, and kicks like he's in the back of yeah. back because of it. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. It's mm -hmm. a great example. Votes. I think we go to the votes, Bill, and... We go to the votes now, and uh, uh, Lindsay Thomas, as we said, the difference with five goals. Todd Goldstein, who's in unbelievable form. I thought the young Miles was the best player for the Tigers, 30 oppositions and two goals, and, and Drewy Petrie uh, played a really good game for the Kangaroos in a pretty even performance, Bill. And there's the prizes. Uh, the Jackie Boy, you get the tailor-made, uh, this is magnificent, the R15 driver, made of greatness. You'll love that. The Aquila $250 voucher there. Get some shoes Ooh, or clothes. Look at clothes. that shirt. Look at, look that, look shirt. at that. It's just oh. like your shirt, mate. This <laughs> looks <laughs> better on him. <laughs> Timber and hardware, $100 gift voucher there, thanks to our friends there. Go where the tradies go, the Tick Chrome Tools, a 30 piece socket set there, you'll love that. Bar Fridges Australia, that's all you go to there for any bar fridge you want, and that's a beauty there. A couple of nice cold cans of Coke. Hotel Bright, $100 voucher there for food and drinks. Hotel Brighton, thank you. Chemist Warehouse, the Mercedes fragrances today. Why wouldn't you get them for Mother's Day? Get out and buy Mum some Mercedes fragrance. And Nana Judy Clothing. $150 gift voucher. What's that smell like, Bill? It's very nice, let me tell you. A uh, very cool clothing brand here. From Nana Judy, you look very trendy, uh, Jackie Boy. Thanks for coming, Jack. Appreciate it. No worries, thanks for having me. Jack Seibel, he's a beauty from the Kangaroos. Time for the Chemist Warehouse.